Component One Studio Enterprise ASP.NET MVC Edition now includes a scaffolder control wizard, so you can easily add or update controls even when you're not using Entity Framework. Let's look at the control wizard in an ASP.NET Core project created using the Component One project template. First, let's use tag helpers to declare a FlexGrid control that displays product data. Right-click the definition and select Update C1 MVC Control from the context menu. Now we're on the General tab. Since we're not using Entity Framework, the related model class and data context class settings are disabled. Add an ID for the FlexGrid. Next, move to the Columns tab and add the columns you'll need to display the product's data. Click Add and set the binding to Product ID. Add two more columns and set the binding to Product Name and Units in Stock, respectively. On the Filtering tab, check Allow Filtering. In the HTML Attributes tab, set the height to 300 pixels. Click Update. We've updated the FlexGrid definition. The height, ID, and filtering property are set, and the columns with respective binding have been added. Now, let's use the OData source element of FlexGrid to set the service URL, table name, and keys. The FlexGrid is now ready to display the product's data. We can also insert any C1 MVC control into the Razor view. Right-click in the Razor view and select Insert C1 MVC Control from the context menu. In the C1 MVC Scaffolder window, click on the Input tab. Select Input Date. Set the ID on the General tab. On the Miscellaneous tab, set the Date Selection Mode to Month. Click Add. As you can see, the Component 1 ASP.NET MVC Control Designer is easy to use and will save you time when configuring controls in ASP.NET and core projects. For more tutorials, blogs, and code samples, visit grapecity.com.